With Halo Infinite's campaign now available on Xbox Game Pass, I'm sure plenty of you are now well acquainted with the vast and beautiful world of the Zeta Halo ring, which is great because there are all kinds of amazing collectibles hidden away in its nooks and crannies, like the Mjolnir lockers. Each locker you find in the campaign contains a shiny new cosmetic for you to use in multiplayer, so you'll definitely want to crack them all open sooner rather than later. And to help you just do that, we've put together a handy guide to all of their locations. So let's get into it. Altogether, there are some 34 Mjolnir lockers sprinkled across Halo's open world map. So to make things more manageable, we'll break them down to the ring's different areas, beginning with connections. The first locker you'll stumble upon is off to the right hand side of the landing pad over the outpost Tremonius. It's basically out in the open, giving you a nice easy one to start off with, and rewarding you with the obelisk stone mark 7 armour coating. Next, you'll want to head just north of the tower where there's another locker lurking atop a pile of rocks with the banished Deception Ridgeback coating inside. Look out for a bunch of trees around that area and you should be able to track it down no problem. In the same general area, keep your eyes peeled for a banished bridge with the locker hidden underneath it. This contains the Warmaster's Prize Bulldog coating. And if you fancy scooping up an Infinity nameplate, you'll find another locker to the northeast sitting on a slope next to this big, ring-like structure just here. Head to the east of that locker and you'll find another one along the side of a mountain near a Forerunner Spire. Inside you'll find the Shadow Sorrel Mark 7 armour coating. After that, shoot down south to the little lake that sits beside a Forerunner ring artefact and you'll see another locker plop down right in the middle of it, housing the Crimson Vettel Mark 7 armour coating. There's also a locker tucked away inside a cave a little way north of the Lancer Squad UNSC distress call. Do a spot of spelunking and you'll unlock the Warmaster's prize spanker coating. Take a look on the southern ridge of the excavation site and you'll see a locker containing the Dogfight Makovic MK V2 armor coating propped up against a tree. Do a little more excavating and you'll find another locker over at the western edge by the cave entrance and it contains the banished nameplate. And if you then follow the path that leads northwards, away from the excavation site, it'll lead you directly to another one containing the banished Deception MK V2 armor coating. Remember to use down the D-pad for a ping if you can't see them right away. If you shoot over to the west of the excavation site, you'll see another locker stacked against a rock besides an orange box covered in weapons. Crack it open and you'll obtain the banished weapon charm. After that, mosey over to the very eastern edge of the area, where you'll find a hexagonal structure, sort of like a sci-fi balcony. The kind of place where you might look out over the water, enjoying a drink and a good book if there wasn't a big war going on. Anyway, there's a locker containing the banished armor emblem next to a pile of sandbags over there. And from there, you can take a wander south to the crevice in the same mountain where another locker has been tucked away, hiding the Wild Coven MK V2 armor. Also down south, you'll find a locker at the base of the waterfall with a banished weapon emblem nestled in it too. The mountain actually turns out to be something of a treasure trove, with yet another locker just around the corner on the western side of it, sitting pretty on a cliff overlooking the north area of the map. Nab it and you'll source the new Blood Shadow MK V2 armor coating. It's pretty edgy. And with that, you scooped up all of Mjolnir lockers in the game's opening area. Nicely done, Spartan. Now let's move on. Now we move on to the area named for a word we've all heard far too much of in recent years, lockdown. The first one you'll want to pick up here is tucked away under a balcony on a cliff edge located right here on the map. Ping if you can't see it and then open it up for your shiny new Midnight Griffin Mark 7 armor coating. Head just a little way south of the tower and you'll also find a locker containing the Scorpion Hervath coating, basically just sitting out in the open. Heading east from there, you'll then find the Windfall Armor Emblem down in a crevice sitting in the water. So I guess these lockers don't rust. Next on your list is the locker you'll find on top of a hill down in the south part of this area. Be warned though, it's surrounded by some pretty hardy enemies, so get ready for a fight if you want to claim the Olympic Stance locked away inside. Head down to the southernmost part of the lockdown area and you'll find a banished deception coating for your warthog to help you ride around in style. Go digging through the graveyards and most of what you turn up will probably be pretty gross, but there is a solitary Mjolnir locker to be found as well. This part of the map is peppered with pesky banished anti-aircraft guns, which actually make pretty handy signposts. Head to the westernmost one here and you'll find a locker containing War Master's Prize battle rifle coating sitting below it. On to the Reformation, and the first place you'll want to check out is up at the area's northern edge, where there's another one of our little space balconies with a locker containing the Griffin nameplate stowed on it. 
It's just up from another Forerunner artifact as well if you're in the market for those. Like trolls, these lockers seem to enjoy being underneath bridges, and you'll find another one lurking under one right in the middle of the area, next to one of the Forerunner spires. It contains the Dog Tag's weapon charm. Head all the way to the southern edge of the area, directly southeast of FOB Lima, and you'll find another locker, this one containing the Warmaster's prize commando rifle coating. Also down in the southern part of the area is the game's sneakiest Mjolnir locker, one which doesn't show up on your map until you've actually found it. And to do so, you'll need to follow the trail of the green lights and grapple shot your way to its hidey hole, or alternatively, look out for banshees buzzing around, see if you can snatch one and jet on over. Either way, the dogfight Makovic wasp coating will be your prize, and boy, does it look good. The locker containing the Griffin armor emblem can also be a little tricky to track down as it's tucked away off to the southeast of FOB Kilo. The easiest route is to head to the beacon southeast of the base and take the path that loops up back around it, bringing you up to the metal hexagons above. Be warned, more tough enemies lie along the way though. And then if you head to the southern border of the area, you'll find another bunch of hexagons. Take a hop down below to pick up the Griffin weapon emblem. After you've taken over a FOB hotel, the Mjolnir locker containing the banished deception mongoose coating will appear on your map over to the southwest of the base. There's even a handy little mountain path which will lead you right to it. Over to the north of the hotel, you'll find another locker stashed among some pelican debris, and in it you'll find the Infinity Armor Emblem. However, there is a high value target along the way, so you'll either need to plot a sneaky long route around or prepare to blast your way towards that booty. Take over Fob Juliet, which you'll find more or less at the centre of the map, and you'll see another Mjolnir locker flash up just to the north. Clamber up to the top of that hexagonal section to claim the Warmaster's Prize Assault Rifle coating. Head a little way to the south from here and you'll encounter a river. Follow it to a place where it splits and smack dab in the middle is another locker with the Banished Deception Rocket Hog coating inside. Alternatively, you can head east from Fob Juliet instead and start heading up the mountain path. About halfway along it, you'll find the Windfall nameplate, though you will also find a whole bunch of snipers, so keep your eyes peeled as you go. But if you do make it all the way to the top without being turned into a spaghetti strainer, you'll nab another locker with the Banished Deception Gungoose coating inside. And to complete your Zeta Ring treasure hunt, take a stroll over to the Banished Outpost Riven Gate and climb up to the mountain overlooking it to uncover yet another locker, this one containing the Banished Deception Scorpion coating. If you're loving Halo Infinite's campaign as much as we are and still want something flashy to wear when you do switch over to the multiplayer mode, then Mjolnir lockers are the way to go. And hopefully this guide will help you hoover them all up and fill out your wardrobe. Let us know how many you've got to go down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell before you get back on the hunt. Goodbye.